Hey, DJ Hoppe here from the DJ Coach. I am so excited to be able to give you something today to add a little extra spice to your mix. And today we're going to talk about samples and how we can incorporate them into the mix. Let's do it. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to come up here to our top left hand corner where I can change my view mode. So I'm going to go ahead and change this from 2x horizontal to two decks horizontal plus two samplers. I've gone ahead and done that. Now when I zoom back out, you'll be able to see I've got decks three and decks four now enabled. And I'm gonna use these as sample decks. So you'll notice that I've got all sorts of these little sounds on here. I've got gunshot, air horn, air horn, sub drop. I've got this row of red and then this other row of yellow. Now I can also change this to show not only eight sample slots, but I can go up to 16. You can see 16 things, which is there's a lot more going on here. Or I could simplify this and come down to four. But what I'm going to do right now for today, I'm going to set this to eight because these eight slots correspond perfectly with the controller I'm using right in front of me. So I've got the DJ Control Impulse 500, and down here in this area, we've got our different modes. So I'm going to switch from Hot Cue all the way over to Sampler. Now here we are on Sampler, and you'll notice that I've got Gunshot. That, those are my first four sounds, and I've got my bottom row as well. What you'll also notice, though, is I can't have two vertically at the same time. So as soon as I select one in that vertical column, it's going to stop the other one that is playing. So if I'm playing the air horn, and then I switch over to this disco laser, it'll stop. What you'll also notice is that this noise hit is still going. And if you can see here, it's got like this little, it's got this little infinity sign next to it. And I'm going to show you how we can change that. So I'm going to go into this right here. These are my settings. And when I open up settings, you'll see a whole bunch of other things that we can do. So that was noise hit. I clicked on noise hit. I can rename it. I can change the color. Um, I can change the BPM. I can mess around with all of these little settings. But the biggest one is the type. So right there it was set on trigger loop. So if I just want this to trigger play, I'm going to switch it to trigger play, hit OK then hit OK, and now you'll see that that little infinity sign went away, so now it's not going to loop anymore. Once it's done, once it gets to the end of it, it'll stop, right? It's not going to loop over again, which is great. So now I want to show you how we can bring in some of our own sounds. All right, I'm going to pull in a drop here. Let me go ahead and put that in there. We're good to go. Now let's mix them together. Mm -hmm. 